There's a video doing the rounds on social media showing a policeman getting pretty rough with a young tearaway teenager. Predictably enough, many of the progressives are up in arms about the outrage of the violence of this police officer towards this innocent little bunny. But many on the more traditional and conservative side, myself included, see this as a ray of hope that the police finally might stand up to these tearaways that seem to be ruining many of our towns and cities. Now I know the cop is resorting to some quite extreme measures here, but it does beg the question, what else are the authorities supposed to fundamentally do? I've lived in many towns and cities in the UK and every single one of them seems to have a problem with young troublemakers who don't respect anyone or anything who are constantly causing trouble and seem to glamorise violence and aggression. Now you can tell by their speech in the video with their yo blood fam stuff that they've fallen into this nihilistic culture. However, it's not that I don't sympathise with these kids. They largely have been forgotten. No one has given them any structure or discipline in their lives. They have nothing to grow into, culturally speaking, either. Yeah, that's why I believe that these kids need discipline, a forceful hand, elder men to bring them into line. Not more feminist interpretations of let's just understand their precious little feelings and treat them as innocent little bunnies who wouldn't hurt a fly. Usually for young males to evolve, they need tough love and somebody who can physically overpower them to steer them in the right direction. However, I'm sure that that's not going to be the case here. I'm pretty sure that cop will be struck off sooner or later and used as an example of evil policing. Although one thing this cop could be thankful for is that the kid that he did this to wasn't black. If that was the case, he'd be on the front pages of the world's media and be treated somewhere to the right of Adolf Hitler. Because remember folks, our police force are now good-minded progressives, which is why Essex police call white people a non-protected group and leaked diversity documents. Yep, that's right. In our own country, we are second-class citizens, according to the police. Anyway, do let me know your thoughts about this down below and do consider subscribing to the channel if you're new.